Welcome back. Well, we've got a pretty pleasant start to the new year 2021 really going on without any hiccups. In fact, our next real opportunity of rain may not be for about another week. We're talking towards the end of next week, Wednesday night into Thursday. Until then, we do get back to some chilly days, some cool and cold overnights. In fact, by the time we move into the weekend, Saturday and Sunday night, both evenings will drop into the 30s with daytime highs sitting in the 50s. Satellite radar picks. You can see our frontal system continues to drive towards the east. Some showers and thunderstorms out there and you you see even a tornado watch just south of Atlanta. Well, all of that is moving towards the East Coast for us. We've still got a couple clouds out there, but we're not going to squeeze any raindrops. I think by the time we move into the morning hours, those clouds start to move on. Doppler radar should be nice and dry for the next couple days. We should have a nice clean sweep outside. As you see your future cast here, we got a little bit of cloud cover out there kind of passing off and on through the overnight. If we do get a shower. It's mainly going to be a sprinkle or a light mist. Continue to move forward. Well, we'll start to see those clouds break up and then we'll get back to plenty of sunshine really throughout the rest of the weekend. So Saturday, Sunday and really not much going on until very late on Wednesday. That'll be our next storm system, maybe a thunderstorm or two in the mix, and then looks like we'll quiet things down heading into the following weekend. Temperature wise, obviously a lot of areas really starting to cool off. 30s now in the Dallas area, 34 just above freezing in Oklahoma City. We're still sitting at 57. You can see all this warm air out east. Temperatures near southern Florida. We're talking 70s out there, but here's the deal. That cold air will slowly start to filter in later on tonight, and that's why we're going to see our temperatures drop. It's 57 at this hour. We still got a couple clouds out there, but our winds are out of the west now at 8 miles per hour, eventually shifting out of the north, and that's what's going to allow those temperatures to drop. 62 out there. Again, that's pretty average for us. We did start out at 52, but we are going cooler this evening. By the time you wake up and step outside, temperatures will be sitting in the mid 40s, but looking long range. Now we're talking six to 10 days from now, but it's a pretty near average pattern for us. Pretty zonal at this point from west to east. Not much going on except for a potential front moving in late on Wednesday. As you take a look at our hourly outlook, we've got some sunshine tomorrow. I still think a couple clouds will hang around, so it's not going to be completely sunny and all blue skies out there, but dry with highs reaching the mid 50s throughout the afternoon. Tonight we're talking 44 out there. A few passing clouds much cooler out there with those winds out of the northwest at five. So feel like temperatures could sit in the lower 40s. Saturday 56 out there often on clouds. A cooler picture out there. Still a light breeze out of the north. Remember that we have partnered up with iHeartRadio of Baton Rouge to get your weather on the go. And here is the very latest. Your seven day picture 56 with some sunshine tomorrow, but dry tomorrow night. Clear skies down into the mid to upper 30s. Heading into your Sunday 57 out there, still dropping back into the 30s. But by the time you head back to work after this long vacation break, We've got our temperatures back into the mid to upper 60s out there, possibly even some 70s by Wednesday before that next system arrives. Some showers overnight and then you see it looks like we got a nice little cool down heading into the end of next week.